Hello guys, I'm going to be showing you how I make my ayamashe, Nigeria green stew. Stay tuned, show you the ingredients I'm using. Okay guys, these are the ingredients I'm going to be using. I got eight big green peppers here, very fresh big green pepper eight. I got three red onion, I got three green chilies, three green chilies and one scotch bonnet, green one. And then I'm going to be using garlic and ginger paste, red oil, the red oil I'm going to bleach it. A bit of salt to taste. I'm going to be using garam masala. I like this garam masala. It's very nice. And then I'm going to use aromat for taste. I'm also going to be using um, the meat I'm going to be using. I'm cooking it already. I'm going to be using cut right, uh, beef meat, chicken uh, breast cut into pieces, some eggs. I'm using like about 15 eggs because I'm cooking quite a lot. Okay guys, this is my meat which I'll be cooking for like about 25 minutes so I was thinking of putting them to grill but I don't think I'm going to grill it I think it's cooked enough now so I'm going to take it off so all I put into the meat was uh, meat seasoning um, a little bit of salt some thyme and um, a bit of um, onion powder and um, garlic, just a little bit of garlic powder, not too much. So inside here, I got um, a body, which is the the um, inside intestine of the meat. So this is the cut right, and I got beef meat. I got chicken breast, which I just cut into piece. And I got. Um, what else did I have inside this now? I was going to show you their body, but I think it's hiding inside the pot. So that's it. I'm just going to take it off the cooker and then I'm going to blend the peppers and the onions and then I'll come back and show you how I fry it. Alright guys, you can see that I'm bleaching the oil already. I'm going to add a bit of salt to the oil. I've low the heat. So I'm going to be adding my onion. So guys, I've had my onions. I'm just frying the onion. I've low the heat. I'm using electric gas, um, electric cooker. So I've low the the heat. So now I'm going to be adding my ginger and garlic paste. Just one spoon, or maybe one and a bit. I'm going to increase the heat my cooker a bit too far. I leave it to cook a bit. I had my garam masala. 
I don't measure the garam masala, I just put it. I'm just cooking it until the foam is gone. So what I have done to the peppers I blend, if you can see from Increase the heat to five so you can fry. So I'm just waiting for it to fry. Okay guys, when you think the prompt is fried enough, you can add your pepper. So I'm going to add this one first. I'll stay it a bit. it not to be too to be a bit too red you can bleach the oil more I didn't want to bleach the oil too much so you got a bit of redness in it so I'm going to add the remaining pepper and the onion this one is pepper and onion together you can see that I sift the water out of it I'll show you the water in it This is the water I sieve out of it, guys. It's quite a lot of water from the pepper because it still has to be dry. It doesn't need too much water. And don't forget when you are blending the peppers, you don't want to blend the peppers smooth. You don't want to blend it smooth, you want to blend it like cost, so you see, so it's not smooth. So now I'm going to hide my aromat. I'm going to hide my aromat. I just spring for the aromat. Just put as much as you want to your taste. I 
but I'm not going to be hiding any more salt or uh, maggi, non maggi cube. I'm just going to be using the aromat. I'm just going to test it a bit to see if there is enough uh, aromat or salt. I think it's okay actually. So guys, I'm just going to cover it to cook for a few minutes. Maybe like less than five minutes. I could cover it to cook for just less than five minutes before I had the meat and any other thing to it. Okay guys, I'm going to open it now. It's been boiling for like a few minutes. So I'm going to stir it. I had a little bit of curry to it. Of course, you don't have to add curry. I just prefer to add a little bit of curry. So now I'm going to add the meat. And then I'm going to be adding a bit of the meat stock. That's a little bit too dry. I'm going to be adding just a bit of the meat stock and a bit of the, the liquid from the pepper and onions just a bit. I'm just going to stir And then I'm going to cover it to, to cook a little bit and I will add then I will add the eggs later. Okay guys, I've had the eggs. The rice is ready. So I've put the eggs inside. It's done now. It's ready. Hello guys, so that's my uh, machine and the eggs. 